I'm John, welcome to the Basic Agent channel on YouTube. We focus on the basic interest items of insurance agents. What I fail to understand sometimes is why business professionals are not able to provide the necessary VIP treatment to their customers despite the large amount of money spent on technology and marketing. So let's find out. Why would a business invest a lot of money in technology and innovations relating to systems like CRMs, marketing, and technology, but yet it still remains very difficult to do business with them? For instance, there's a Chevrolet dealership well known for their innovation in, with regard to their computers and their software, constantly spending money to ensure that they are at the forefront of all technological advancement from computers to software and to even having solar panels on their roof. But when it comes to business relationships, it seems like they are still in the Stone Age. Now pay attention here. Doing business or buying anything from them was just a serious pain in the butt. A friend of mine who was in need of a truck one time had met with me and he knew that I was dealing with this dealership in the past and I had told my friend kind of what to expect overall, that it would be difficult. My friend had gone to the dealership to buy a car. When he had gotten there, he parked his car, walked in, and had a good look at the trucks that were parked on the lot. Now when he finally found the vehicle that he liked, he wanted to check and no one was really available to assist him. They didn't come out and talk to him, so he had no other option than to actually call the dealership from his cell phone. But before anyone could pick up the phone, he got a recorded message informing him that his call was going to be monitored for quality assurance. He finally got to the receptionist and asked if she could send a salesperson to assist him on the lot. He got a surprising reply informing him that that's not how they did business there. It was uh, he needed to come into the showroom. And then she hung up the phone. Now, that was kind of hard to believe, but nonetheless, that's the story. He had to make another call, plead again with the receptionist to send someone so he wouldn't have to walk all the way into the building and walk all the way back. Then the receptionist hung up on him again. He called the third time, and this time he uh, definitely shared his experience with her in some colorful language about how poor their service was and that they were really treating him badly. But in short, he drove off and then he went to a Ford dealership where he got a brand new vehicle. You see, the story goes, you've got to fit your process for your person, not make the prospect, not make the client fit themselves into your position or your marketing or your technology area. At this point, what would you say had stopped the sale? Probably at the beginning. Was it that the dealership didn't have a good product? No, no, for, Chevys are great products. Personally, I like Ford, but they had a good location with all the state-of-art facilities. They had invested a lot of time and, and effort into marketing as well. But when they, what they did fail in was in making the sales. And the answer seems so obvious. They invested so much in technology and systems that they neglected the training and their staff. It is surprising that a business has a system that monitors calls for training purposes, yet still fails to use a lot of it, and customers are treated poorly. It is still shocking that a business would employ a poorly trained receptionist, someone seen as the first point of contact with an organization, and yet cannot even find someone to assist a customer in the purchasing of a product. What could be the reason for businesses to invest large amounts of money in improving all aspects of their technology and business systems, including their websites, CRMs, internet marketing, as well as their social media and email marketing systems? 
Well, they do all of these things to help increase their public awareness of their business, but then they fail to train and educate their staff on how to treat the prospective customers they had spent a lot of money to attract. If a business can't provide the red carpet treatment for their customers, what then is the point of investing a lot in marketing and technology when the person that will sell the products end up treating the customers so poorly? People sell products, not technology. My business partner often tells me that on a regular basis, and that's what keeps us centered here at Apex Insurance Group. Now, as for the Chevrolet dealership story we highlighted, the problem comes from the fact that they measure how satisfied their customers are only after the car has been delivered. So they're counting only those sales that were made. They do not really care about how many customers they lose or what might be the reason for that. The major complaint from most customers is the long and tiring negotiations during the buying process. It doesn't make sense that the business loses their customers even before the negotiation begins. And it hurts more when this is due to the negligence on the part of the employees. For a business to effectively manage this, the business management would need to develop a system that records the traffic count, showing the number of persons that walked into the dealership. This will help the management know that the number of potential customers that had walked in and the number that they lost due to no available assistance from any staff. Some staff are not interested in what a customer has to say. They're not interested in finding out the needs, wants, or desires of a customer. Just basically, they are there to inform customers on their usual way of selling cars, and that's final. It's like telling customers, these are the cars we really need to push today, and you can either do it our way or go on down the street. It's important that salespeople get trained on how to deal with customers and relate from their perspective. They should treat customers right, making them understand that they do business their own way as well. That's the red carpet treatment. Opportunities to make a business sale come at any time. We can't really dictate when you are going to make your next sale. Everybody that comes to a business wants a product for himself or herself, and that's uh, an opportunity to make a sale. First, customers come to a business so that they can be guided and advised by a professional. That is you on the right product that is suitable to their need and or desires. And secondly, in order to purchase such a product at a fair price, you know, we don't get to set the price in the insurance industry, but when a business fails to utilize the opportunity properly by training staff and salespeople who are interested in helping customers buy their desired product, they lose the customers. How many of us have lost prospects because we failed to listen to the needs of the prospect? It's time that businesses make their customers their priority and then focus on technology and marketing subsequently. <laughs> Where would I be then, huh? Businesses should know that customers make proper research before coming to a store and usually come to a store ready for a purchase. Technology and marketing play a major role in bringing people to a business, but it is the way that they are treated by the salespeople that transform them into customers. Always treat your customers right, your prospects right. So it's very important that in as much as we invest a lot of time in technology, marketing, and business systems, it's also interesting that uh, and important that we invest in training staff and people to interact with customers and make the sales happen that way. So what does this all mean? Sure, it sounds like I made it all up. Maybe I did. But just to make a point, well, did I 
you know, I did, but the point is it's still getting that we need to understand the process, that it's the people that are important and not the technology. You see, great agents take care of their prospects and customers in a superior fashion in all ways. The agents are not there to push a single product or a single carrier. Great agents work to become great agents. No one just wakes up in the morning and is magically a great agent. They are students of good teachers and they routinely study to become better. Like I said earlier, basically, I'm a Ford guy. Everything. Why? Great customer service. I'm on loan from Apex Insurance Group. You can contact me there. Apex Insurance Group is a marketing organization offering over 85 carriers, 250 plus products, and multiple specialties. I thank you for viewing this video. I hope that there was something there that gave you some information to think about. If you enjoyed it, I would consider it a point of pride if you would click the like button. We encourage comments and will welcome your ideas and tips which have helped you throughout your life. Do not forget to subscribe to the Basic Agent channel. Click the subscribe button below and also clicking the chime will notify you of my new posts on Saturdays. Meanwhile, continue to be memorable.